JavaScript. Quite a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna go around this field. You know, since uh, HTML5 came, I've been using a lot less JavaScript you know, for the animations and stuff. If you do them in uh, HTML, CS5, you can make just as good, if not better, without using the JavaScript. So it's one less file, and obviously you don't need to load Java now. The only problem with doing it in JavaScript is you got to do cross-browser cross support, which is a pain in the ass. but there's uh, some scripts on the internet you can download that automatically convert some, so you only have to make it for one. You make it for one browser and then that script will convert everything. You're a student graphics designer. Nice. Make me a new logo if you want something to do. <laughs> so, uh, I could do it, it's just finding time. I'd rather spend my time on it. So, I didn't fill it up fully, whatever. Uh, this map, Night Killer, it's not available right now. As you see when we're driving down these tracks, look at the wheels. And when we come to one of these, it's like, it's really bumpy. Oh. Alright, so which way is this way? So we're going to test out this grim building. So first we need to open the gate. Bit of a tight fit, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, giants aren't going to change their engine. Oh, that was a problem. I saw it slip through there. Alright, so supposedly that went into... I'm going to have to put a flat plane across that with a collision. Because um, the collisions aren't right. So, that supposedly went in here. So if we go here, we can... Open the door. Drive in. And I'm just going to park the trailer in front of the office when I can drive so I'm just gonna leave a trailer here and let's have a look where's the wheat go? is it this one? no I can't remember which one was wheat I know it's one of these over here. It's either this one or that one. Whatever. But we can see that it's working. Um, what we're going to do is we drive here. We should get an uh, option to reload. And we're going to reload some. I haven't put all the fruits in this right now, but we'll just get some barley. And you can see the plane over there slowly disappearing. You can see it's coming out of the bunker and going through the pipe system, even though it's on a concrete floor. Alright, so now we know that bunker's empty. We're gonna. This door's one way, you can only open it from inside.
Have a cookie. That's a cat pa. Gonna give me a proper cookie. Alright, so let's see where this dodgy collision is. You see, I'm trying to actually like slip through and now I'm stuck. So I'm gonna have to put a collision plane across this. See, that's where you test stuff. I could probably jump it at like 600 mile an hour. So I'll, I'll put a flat plane across there anyway. Um, that's non renderable. Um, with some juice. See, if you're driving pretty fast, it's okay, and then whatever. I'll fix it. If you give me a second, I can give you permission. Um, I don't have Nightbot, by the way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one. And I don't think I have any multi fruit shovels. But I'm going to show you why I designed the building like this. So I'm going to drive back in here. Um, I'm going to park up against this wall when I don't drive into it. So I'm just going to like, park my trailer up like that. And I'm going to buy the JCB wheel loader and a bucket. And I'm going to have to tap to it. And I'll give you permission to post a link. So, uh, permit. Uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, I can still get the link. Ooh! Uh, can I ask what participate in stores? Shall I take it to my local baker and say, can I have my virtual cookie, please? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, I don't know why it did that. Um, but yeah, let's go get my uh, JCB. Um, get rid of this stupid help menu. Let's drive the JCB up there. up and down. Yeah, the Jesse B DLC is well worth the money. Alright, so the reason I designed this building is some people want to actually scoot their crops out. Oh my god! What an asshole. Yeah. Um, why is it not capturing my game? Oh, the str uh, stream might have frozen, so just reload if it has. It might have just frozen for me, I don't know. If the stream's still frozen with the red trailer, just reload. Alright, so yeah, I designed this building so you could scoot the stuff up. So let's take the potatoes, maybe.
Um, that's why the tractors end up down there. So then you don't have to overextend when you're using the front loaders. Um, you can load the trailer really easy. You know, some people want it realistic. It doesn't get much more realistic than that. Um, we're gonna drive and get some more spuds. I know the plane isn't 100% perfect, but for some reason I couldn't make a fill volume like you do with a trailer. So, some things you just have to live with. And I'm not quite sure uh, whether I added potatoes to the tip trigger outside. I don't know if I've done it yet, but I'm going to turn the engine off. Turn this engine off. Um, so now we we filled up. Um, I'm going to reverse the trailer up just in case. I'm not going to empty the trailer 100% because I'm going to show you another feature of this building. So if you're playing realistically, to get stuff in a bunker you wouldn't really, you wouldn't use a universal tip trigger like this. Yeah, you see potatoes is not accepted here because they haven't done it yet. Um, so what you could do, you could drive up drive in, drive over to the potato trigger, and uh, now this is going to be fun because I need to try and turn around, I should have done that in that corner, but if we uh, reverse the trailer into the heap, see so we can now fill can fill it up by taking the trailer back to the to the pal if you want, or eventually you will be able to use the thing outside. And you know you go back on your daily duties. Um, so what else can I show you? I'll show you this building over here. I'll just drop the trailer off. I'll leave the trailer there. Uh, it took me forever to animate this door, so. That's like three hours work just making that animation, but. So this is just gonna be a small storage type building. We'll buy some sheep and some cows. Um, I could test cows, so I don't know if they're gonna work, but whatever. Alright, so we're gonna go down to the sheep, which you can see they're already in the field there. I'm not quite sure how many I bought, but whatever. We're gonna go back down my bumpy old road. And we're gonna take a left in here. When I can drive, can't you tell I don't play this game? And you see we can we can mow the sheep field. This is where you fill it up. This trigger here. And I put this little hill, even though it looks a little bit unnatural, but this allows the sheep to walk up and down. Um, the wool pallets will spawn on that little thing there. Uh, so we're going to shut this gate and we're going to go for a drive. I'm going to take a right here.
and again there's uh, another entrance to that field that we was harvesting earlier. Literally right outside your door, but oh, another entrance to a farm there. And here's the cows. The cows aren't done yet, but you can see they're on the mesh, what they're meant to be. So the cow zone's going to be here, as you can see. Once I put grass and you know everything else, it's going to be a good size cow zone. It goes all the way down to the bottom down here. It's all the way down. Get out of the way. Uh, now we'll take a we'll take a quick drive around the field area. And as you can see, I need to try and edit that bit, but oh well. I'm not going to show the forest. The forest is just full of trees right now. But we're going to go and see what we did earlier. Uh, you can show your thoughts in chat if you want. It's always nice to see what people think and any ideas or anything like that will be considered. So I'm just going to drive like a loon. I actually wanted to get over there. Oh well. Which I can always take this road. You see this looks really wide, but it gets narrow as it comes down towards the gate. And also you got to think about harvesters and stuff like that. So you have to leave some room. So we're going to open those gates. And this is going to be one big field. This this is the field that we just more or less outlined. Um, and we're going to go check these trees. And make sure this gate opens properly. Damn that door. Yeah, that door took forever to make. Thanks for the follow, Wallace69, I appreciate that. So as you can see, this is all the trees, but we still got to put shrubs and stuff. So we're just here to see what it looks like. And it looks pretty good. Any beef and pigs? A lot of people have asked for beef and pigs, and I've said... Did I test the JCB Bobcat at the ground station? Hell, no, but I can do. It should work. It's exactly the same, it's only a wheel loader, but tiny. I'll buy one in a minute. We're just gonna take a drive around these fields. So I'm going to shut this gate, and you don't need to be in the trigger, you just press the button and drive away, and it'll shut itself. So we're going to go down this dirt path here. We're going to go at a, you know, a fast pace, like 40-50 mile an hour, because we can. Until we bounce off the road and end up in the hedge, which I have done before. And, oh yeah, that's one thing I was going to shut. And that's another reason why I left the, um, the little side bits. If you ever need to turn around, if the hedgerows were right up against the dirt track, you don't have a chance of turning back around. Alright, so this field, even though it's a field of grass, you can see I've got the um, normal texture underneath. If you don't want this field as grass, just plough it. Um, it'll keep the field borders. So you don't have to manually make the field. What's up chicken fried noodles? How's your day today? We're just doing a little drive round of the map that we've been uh, working on. But yeah, I'll buy a bobcat in a minute and give that a test. So we're going to go bouncing down this little dirt road. And um, we're going to turn it uh, left here. And you see the size of this field. See the fields are a really good size. It's 
Honestly, that's that's just one field there. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I have to go to work soon now, so we're just taking a quick drive, and then I'll uh, try and uh, wiggle away through here. But as you see, this is still the same field. I'll show you the boundary fields. You like how I created the map? Thank you. So, the fields at the end. Am I streaming later? Yeah. I'll be working on the map more. Yeah, I'm starting to push to get the map finished. You don't like it if it's not a place with real mud? Oh, I'll have to do that then, won't I? But you see, these fields you can't get in them, they're just here for decoration. All the ones at the end. Uh, so somebody asked about the bobcat, let's give that a... Let's give that a test. And I'll go pick them up in a minute. I need to drive this back to put the trailer into the storage building. Yeah, this map's going to take some time. You know, I'm not in no rush. I want it to be uh, nice with detail and everything else. It's like, yeah, the skid steer works like a proper one. So basically, you could just sit there and do don't. You know, sit in the same spot doing donuts. I'll, I'll show you in a second when we get up in the building. You should just be able to skid around while you're in the bunker. See, see, this is what I want the map like. So this is the only area that I've really spent some time decorating with trees and everything else. Yeah, so I want something like that as a general feel, you know, like shrubs and grass. And We're going to open this gate and I'll pick up my trailer. And I think for this one we'll um, so just everybody knows how short the um, bobcat is. Um, just let me uh, start the engine. I think the bucket's tipped over. Yeah, it does. What a pain in the ass. Come on, put back over your piece of crap. Yay, I got the bobcat stuck. Let's buy another. Come in. What did I just buy? That wasn't a freaking bobcat. Did I really just buy that? I was meant to buy that. But anyway, whatever. Incoming! <laughs> My shipment of bobcat has arrived. Alright, so let's pick that up. Um, get out of this place.
All right, so yeah, I'll show you that. You know, if you just do donuts. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, so let's go test this building. Why does everything fall from the sky when I bought? It's because I haven't moved the vehicle shop yet. So the spawn point literally is right above me. Yeah, I know. Rufus, I've seen it. It's very, very nice. Oh, you see that? The bobcat gets stuck on these stones. Uh, let's move this out of the way. I'll try and show it you when I get to the next set of stones. See, here. The, bob, the bobcat gets stuck on them. Look. Yeah, I know the, joy the joystick controls, yeah. Vertex Designs, you know, personally is one of my favourite themes. They, they always seem to make really, really nice stuff. Probably in the pocket. Thanks for the follow, Sir Kirk. Alright, so let's grab some sugar beets. You see, the steering can be a little bit too sensitive now and again. But let's grab some sugar beets. Oh my god, this only holds 1,700. But it's fun to drive. And you see, the bobcat should be able to reach the trailer. Right now I'm using mouse for the uh, controls for the front order, which I don't usually do. I usually use my joystick, but it's not plugged in. And again, it got really sensitive. But as you can see, the bobcat can fill the toast trailer in the game. Without any problems. Yep, and this part was designed to hold the um, wheel loaders and anything you want to use to load up. So now we're going to drive around and stick this back in the trail in the load point. Does it not? I still think it's being designed, and nobody's heard anything, you know, it's like, it's one of those. And you see, there we go, we're empty again. But that's all I've got time for today. Um, so I'm going to take my vehicles out. I need to fix the loading ramp. Get the new fruits added on everything else, and yeah, you know, it's like 
this side of this building here, this could be good for like seeds and fertilizer. It's just so huge. Where I've just placed a trailer. Put seeds and fertilizer and stuff there. But yeah, that's that's all I've got um, time for today. So until next time, I'm gonna say goodbye. Have a nice day, and award you all some points. Everybody that stuck around can get points all uh, 25. I appreciate everybody that followed the channel, and I'll be back streaming more of the map. In in a couple of hours, so yeah, I'll be work I'll be working. La la la, I'll be working on the map again tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody, and I will see you later.